Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be making a pumpkin maple cheesecake. Such a perfect dessert to make for the upcoming holiday season. This cheesecake is such a nice treat. It is so rich and creamy. So now let's jump into how to make it. First, we're going to get 12 ounces of any cookie or cracker you want. I use ginger snap cookies for this recipe. Then we're going to blend or crush them until they look like this. Then we're going to mix in a quarter cup of sugar and six tablespoons of unsalted butter melted. We're going to use a springform pan, line it with parchment paper, and press the mixture down evenly into the pan. The best tools to use for this are either a measuring cup or a bottom of a glass. Then in this bowl we're going to be mixing together four 8 ounce packages of cream cheese, softened, one cup brown sugar, and a half cup white sugar. Then we're going to add in our quarter cup heavy cream and one can pumpkin puree. Then add in one tablespoon vanilla extract and a quarter cup maple syrup. My bowl was definitely beginning to overflow at this point, so make sure that you have a big enough bowl to mix all of your ingredients properly. We're gonna now mix in a quarter cup flour and all the spices. So one tablespoon cinnamon, one teaspoon nutmeg, one teaspoon ginger, and a half teaspoon cloves. Then we're gonna add in four eggs. For this, I would recommend mixing them in a separate bowl and then pouring into the pumpkin mixture. Preheat your oven to 325 degrees. You're gonna get a separate sheet pan, fill it with hot water at least halfway, and put it on the bottom rack of your oven. Then we're gonna put the cheesecake on the top rack. We're gonna let bake for 90 minutes. This method allows for steam to form in your oven so you have the smoothest consistency. Once the 90 minutes are up, we're gonna crack the door open to the oven, turn it off, and let sit between five and eight minutes. Then we're gonna take the cheesecake out, place it on the counter, and let cool for one hour. Next, we're gonna place it in the fridge for at least six hours. This cheesecake turned out so amazing. Definitely a great dish to bring as a Thanksgiving dessert that everyone will love. As always, thank you so much for watching guys. If you like videos like this, please be sure to tap that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe icon so you don't miss any of the great recipes to come.